Jones on the center field. David Smith is back. Third home run of the night for Fernando. The trifecta for the Nando. Guys, 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 guys. I need to update the um, the trapezoid. Padres fall to 0 and 10 in extras. I, 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 I don't know. I, I don't know what else to say. I, mean, I can't scream too loud. My roommate is, is sleeping. I, 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 it's just... They had so many chances to win this baseball game. This is just a, 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 a beyond, beyond, beyond heartbreaking loss. Just beyond, 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 beyond heartbreaking loss. Emotional comeback, emotional Trent Grisham down to their final out. They have a chance. They have a shot to freaking get four back from the NL final wild card. Trent Grisham ties the game, and next thing you know, they absolutely just screw it. People are so freaking gullible that they actually believe they actually believe that I mean this on stream. That seals the deal. I'm no longer a Potters fan. The team is a pure and utter embarrassment to the Major League Baseball Association. People actually believe that I'm being serious when I say this, first of all. That is the most fucking pathetic thing I have ever seen. And I have so many people texting me saying, keep the faith, keep the faith, keep the faith. <sighs> Why do you want me to keep the faith? I keep telling you this has been the same MO of this season all year long. The team does not know how to win consistent games 
in a row. You had the bases loaded. Nobody out in the top of the 10th. Xander Bogarts, man, has been a effing mess as a San Diego Padre. One for five today. He did deliver when they needed him most. And do you want to know what happened when Xander Bogarts delivered when the Padres needed him most in a game-winning situation in the top of the eighth inning in which Trent Grisham would have won the game for the Padres? When they needed Xander Bogarts most, Matt Williams waved Juan Soto in a ridiculous format. Look at the ball was already in the catcher's hand. Matt Williams waved Juan Soto. I know there's a lot more game to discuss than that situation, but the coaching was all over the place. Everything was all over the place. And I don't know why the Padres want Justin Verlander when the freaking pitching has been lights out for the San Diego Padres. So here was the ball in the center fielder's hand, okay? Here was the ball in the center fielder's hand, and when the ball was in the center fielder's hand, this was the exact same moment. This is where Juan Soto was. And you're a big league third base coach making millions of dollars, and that's your send on a Juan Soto who literally is not that fast? Guys, that's a joke. That is a freaking joke. We are so incredibly cursed. We are so incredibly cursed. It, it, it is getting to the point. Oh my goodness, I, I can't believe they lost this game. And it's gonna make our trade, it's gonna make our trade deadline stream even more interesting tomorrow, guys. I want to let you know. I do want to let you know, guys, rise and shine. I don't know if you're at work or whatnot. Tomorrow at 9 in the morning, we will be streaming all day long on the Hogwatch. I just put the link pinned on top of the chat. We will be streaming all all day long on the Hogwatch starting at 9 a.m. tomorrow, live Twitter feeds and all that jazz. Guys, this was a game where the Padres completely outdueled the, the, the Rockies in terms of the hit department. This was the game where they put up, what, 12 hits as a team. Unfortunately for the Padres to the Rockies, five. The Padres had three errors. Additionally, they left 11 on base. 11 on base. This season has been a, 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 an absolute misery. Guys, I, just a miserable, miserable season. How do you lose this game after that emotional comeback? You have Trent Grisham go deep to tie the game down to your final out. You have Trent Grisham go deep down to your final out. By the way, this was posted five minutes ago on MLB Trade Rumors that the Potters are exploring a market for offense and bullpen help. Yeah, they somehow need more offense. This is ridiculous that this Padre team does need more offense. They're able to get it to their final out. They are terrible. They are terrible, but yet people keep telling me, keep the faith. Let's go to a quick roll call. Where is everybody tuning in from? Yes, Tatis was over 5. He was robbed twice. After this moment, we thought that this was the moment of the San Diego Padre season that changed. They'd finally break through. They'd finally get it done, and here it was. Fly ball, right field, struck pretty well. Tolia going back at the wall. That ball is going to go. Into the and at that point, you truly, truly felt that it was going to turn around. And they get to the point in the top of the 10th inning when they had the bases freaking juiced with Bogarts, Cronenworth, and they couldn't get it done. They couldn't get it done. Good morning. My dad got diagnosed with erectile dysfunction. I got diagnosed with depression watching the Padres. Double jizz, thanks for the two. People believe everything they read, man. <laughs> I'm beyond the point of mad. Guys, how do we feel right now? 
I mean, what, what is going on with Xander? I mean, what is going on with Xander Bogarts? I mean, this is, this is truly, truly ridiculous. Bob Nightingale, boob with the bomb. The Padres find a new bizarre way. <laughs> Bob Nightingale is special. The Padres find a new bizarre way to lose. They are now 0-10. They're, they're 16 hours of rain raining until the trade deadline. Common Bob W. <laughs> Good morning. So many things went wrong. So depressing to watch. It's it's a common Bob W, man. This team is a fucking joke. Mickey Coke is so angry. He's holding the kettlebells in Chicago. You do care, Brian. You're not. The, you're, this is miserable. I don't even care anymore. Tired of this misery. Are you guys are you guys excited for the trade deadline special tomorrow, huh? I mean, I'm I'm drained. I I'm gonna be honest, guys. I'm I'm absolutely drained. Um this this was a classic, this was a classic, classic Padres loss. Uh, just a, an absolutely classic, classic Padres loss. I mean, it's 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 that simple. You take a look at the Padres from a pitching perspective. Glick told me they'd win tonight. I responded. Seth Lugo was fantastic. I mean, Seth Lugo has been pretty fantastic all year. Long. X is looking like our very own Anthony Rendon. Whew. X is just tough. Um, they're not going to sell, I don't think, right? Guys, the Rockies suck. Take a look at this Colorado's Rockies lineup. Why are they scoring more than the Padres? Jerks and Profar has been awful. Ezekiel Tovar has been their best. McMahon, Diaz, Brent. Like, this Rocky team sucks. We needed to win this game. We needed to win this game. Padres pitching, breaking news. They've been good all year long. And Padres pitching has been good all year long, and, and we find a way to fuck it. Um, Crony was really good at the plate tonight. It was awesome to see Crony have a two-hit night. Juan Soto doing Juan Soto things. He was good. Fernando Tatis Jr. Now, let's talk about Tati. I understand that he was robbed twice tonight, but Fernando Tatis Jr. is, is, is really, and I mean, I mean really, really starting to slump now for the Padres. I mean, he is... He has been checked out for, for a good bit now. It really feels as if Toddy is slumping. Do, do, does it feel like that for y'all, chat? I mean, Toddy is, he's not Toddy right now. Are you a little concerned? I mean, he is slumping big time, but, ah, man. Good morning. The Rangers have their three worst pitchers going. No Seaver Heim. Mirage sweep versus a good team without their best players. I'm tweeting that exactly, Gary Sky. Gary almost as many RBIs as X. I'm tweeting that. I'm tweeting that, Sky. Great point, Sky. The Rangers had their three worst players and no Seager or Jonah Heim. The three worst pitchers. Mirage sweep versus a good team without their best players. So, I know Tatis crushed three balls today. Um, how concerned are we with Xander Bogarts? I mean, I, I talked about this with Bob Nightingale. I, I genuinely talked about this with Bob Nightingale, but uh, yeah. I mean, I just don't know what to say anymore. Again, the Padres lose an absolutely heartbreaking, I mean, a heartbreaking loss. The Padres are getting swept by the Dodgers. I wouldn't be surprised. This was supposed to be the moment where they got going. Padres getting swept by the Dodgers, lol. They just can't lose normally at course. It's always some dumb shit. I, guys, this is not the first time we've seen something like this. It happens all the time. 
and people are saying I'm right about Tatis. I mean, people are saying I'm wrong about Tatis. Um, bro, he's been awful. And by the way, you guys want to take a look at Fernando Tatis Jr.'s last 30 games? I mean, people are saying that he was unlucky tonight. Sure, he's been awful. And look at his strikeout rate. It's been ridiculous. Bro, he hasn't, he's not even homering right now. It's bad. We can't beat bad teams. It's just, it's just, we, 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 we cannot beat bad teams. It, I don't know. I don't know. The Padres fall the extra innings, everybody. Welcome to the San Diego Padres Hogwatch post game show, you know, presented by our good friends over at Mantis Sleep. The Padres fall to 52 and 55. A day where they could have won and improved to 53 and 54. Um, could have got to four games back in the wild card race. They lose an absolute heartbreaker and they remain at five games back. So many days where the Padres could continue to gain ground. They lose again and find themselves at five games back after the Giants lose, the Marlins lose, the Brewers lose, and the Padres still find a way to screw it up on their own behalf. It's draining. It's brutal. It's undeserving. It's awful. Let's get into our top hog hog washes of the day. The top hog goes to Seth Lugo. Seth Lugo has been nails for the San Diego Padres all year long. Nails for the Padres all year long. The hog wash could have went to Xander Bogarts, could have went to Matt Williams. I gave it to Matt Williams because I know X came through in that moment, but shit, man. Um... Good morning. Maybe could have given it to WDF X. WDF is up with this team. Seriously, zero to chin and extras. Rob, thanks for the 20, brother. What the fuck's up with this team? Seriously, 0 and 10. I don't know anymore, man. I mean, thank you so much for the dono, bro. Um, I don't know what's up, guys. I mean, what do you want me to say? Um... I don't know what you want me to say right now, Rob. I mean, listen, this is a Padre team that 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 is able to produce such good production good against morning. the Rangers. They hate we Colorado. Better win the next two, that Machado tag. Oh man, I all I already forgot about that play too. Um, I already forgot about that play too. Is there a way we can pull that up on our phone? Curse, just a curse game all around the block. Manny Machado. I mean, Machado, too. He had a tag easily on Montero. Relax. Easily they got him out. It was, a ear, it was a clear bunt. And Manny Machado somehow drops the ball. Throw to third. Like, what even is this game? Like, look, look, at, look at Manny. Hold on. This is the wrong doc. Look at Manny, guys. Throw away Xander fucking it. Look at Manny here. You had it. Oh, look. Awful bunt. Gary Sanchez at this point easily just throw Montero out the best defender. Loss is bad. Not the end of the world. We need to win series from now on. We should have swept the rocks, but the key is win series. Hashtag Padres for a life. Take a look at this. It's right on the right here. Plate. Right here. He's out by a freaking mile. Look what happens to Manny. The third. He didn't even realize he dropped the ball. It's so cursed. Third and they will get Montero. No, the ball was dropped. It's so freaking cursed, bro. Oh, man. Oh, man. It's just one game, Dale. This one hurts. We better win the next two. We better, Legolas. I mean, they... Oh, man, this one really, really, and I'll say it again, really hurts. What the fuck is up with this team? Seriously, Owen, 10 and extras, Robert. Thanks for the 20, bro. 
This one really stings, guys. Again, all I ask is smash that like and subscribe button. I'll tell you this. Tomorrow, we got the MLB trade deadline special here on YouTube, all right? We're going to be going live at 9 in the morning tomorrow. I put the link pinned on top of the chat. We are going live at 9 in the morning tomorrow. Live Twitter feeds. Does Snell get dealt? Does Verlander get dealt? Does Bednar get dealt? A full MLB 30-plus team trade deadline special. Live Twitter feeds. Live everything. We have you covered on the Hog Watch tomorrow. All right, guys? Thomas, thank you so much for the five, says Hog. Loss is bad. No kidding. Not the end of the world. We need the win series from now on. We should have swept the rocks, but the key is win series. I guess, man. Manny Machado, what is he going to say? We just got to play better baseball. We just got to play better baseball. Guys, it's time for a little Yo Borna. It's been a minute. Take from one time. Let's hear from our sponsor of the show, Manta Freaking Sleep, because I'm going to need it tonight if Hoggy wants to even be able to sleep on Manta Sleep. Come on, dude, this movie's gonna be freaking hilarious. I got like five hours of sleep. I need a recharge for the night. I'm so tired. Come on, dude, it's been a minute since we've kicked it. Uh, Come on, Borna. 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 Good morning. Soto runs out dreams. Slow AF. Guys, man to sleep. I, I, I'm bummed right now. Look at my eyes. Out, I, mean, I finally got movie. some sleep last I got night. No in sleep all seriousness, last time, I got some Yo Bornas in the Come chat. On, dude, this movie's man to sleep. Freaking hilarious. Biggest I got, like, sponsor of the Hogwash this year. I still think my the Manta night. Mask Pro so is my tired. favorite. Come I've on, tried dude, the silk. I need to try the weighted mask. I think that one will be my favorite. But guys, go to mantasleep.com. Go use code HOG for 10% off. Mantis Sleep's been freaking amazing for the channel all year long. They have the best sleep masks in the game, guys. Go to Mantis Sleep. Go check them out. I'm telling you, if you're struggling with your sleep, if you need help with all this, Manta has been the biggest life freaking saver. Go to Hoggy this year. You know what? They I got no sleep like last night, man. I got a little bit nap. easier, even on, if dude, the Padres are the worst hilarious. franchise. I got like five hours may of give away one of these too as well, but guys, go to mantasleep.com. Come on, Use dude. It's been a minute since we've kicked it. Percent off. Come on, boy. Really, really, really Born supports up. me out, guys. I'm just Born drained. Up. Like, no, th th this game was just incredibly, incredibly drained. Let's get some more Yo Bornas in the chat, man. It's been a while since we've nuked that on the Hogwatch. ADHD, thanks for the 13. Bro says players knew they had to win this game. They had, this had to be a playoff mindset. And every player other than Soto did something to cost us the game. Somehow could have won four in a row. So what do they do tomorrow, though? ADHC, thanks for the 13, brother. You know I love you to death. ADHC, we'll be doing a, a, a trade deadline special on the Hog Watch starting at 9 a.m. tomorrow. I hope you're able to join. Soto runs how I run in my dreams. Slow as fuck. I guess, but that was on Matt Williams' send Soto there, uh, Joshua. That was ridiculous. ADHC, thanks for the 13. Yeah, what do we do? You know, ADHC, okay, great. What do they do, though? Is this team going to buy or sell? It seems like they just haven't been able to break through at any point all year long. And it felt like tonight was the closest that they were doing so, right? Tonight felt like the closest they were doing so in terms of breaking through, and they still couldn't, right? And they still couldn't. And you want to hear what's worse? The Padres don't have a starter tomorrow. They don't have a freaking starter tomorrow. Good morning. You got any predictions for tomorrow? I mean, they don't have a starter tomorrow against Peter Lambert. Seth Lugo was awesome yet again tonight, man. I mean, Seth Lugo was awesome yet again tonight. Seth Lugo has a 3.5 year in the pitcher, and he is the back end starter of this Padres team. The Padres have, guys, you want me to show you a crazy stat? You, you are not going to believe what you see. Take a look at this stat. And considering that the Padres are three games under 500, I think you may freaking lose your mind. You may freaking lose your mind when I'm about to show you this stat. It is freaking absurd. It is freaking ridiculous. Are you ready? I'm so scared to even show you this. This is July starters ERAs. The Padres are by far and away the first in baseball. And they also have Juan Soto, Xander Bogarts, Fernando Tatis Jr., Jake Cronenworth, Manny Machado, and they're at 52 and 55. Are you kidding me? I mean, that is ridiculous. 
You want to know who the Colorado Rockies have? They have Ryan McMahon. That's it. That is it. They have Ryan McMahon, and that is it. You can't lose this game. And they actually battled, scrap, clawed. But this is why I've been clamoring to sell. I mean, this is why I've been clamoring to sell. Glick, if you want to join, please do. Glick, you want to join, I just DM'd you the link. But here, you know what? I naturally went to this link on my page too. This tweet is so hilarious. There are so many fans who actually believe in me. That is hilarious. Dude, people actually believe this. That is awesome. <laughs> <laughs> bro, <laughs> Twitter is crazy, bro. Do they not know me? They think I'm, I can actually root for any other team. <laughs> uh, are you guys concerned with Fernando's year? Like, honestly. Um, Bogarts chimes in on his performance tonight. Why is William Bradford Myers not on this team? Um, because William Bradford Myers sucks. Uh, life is beautiful. Thank you so much for your first super chat ever on the Hogwatch. We appreciate your donations and incoming contributions. Because Will Myers got DFA'd by the reps. Will Myers isn't a good baseball player anymore, and he hasn't been for six, seven years. I understand he's a hometown favorite. I understand he's a hometown hero. I understand that the Padres love him. Uh, but no, uh, Will Myers is not good. Uh, Xander Bogarts uh, was awful tonight, by the way. I mean, I, I should give him the, the hog wash. Guys, if you're new to the channel, we do top hog hog wash. Uh, the top hog goes to the best player. The hog wash goes to the worst player of the night. Here are updated standings. Something doesn't look right. I agree with you, Saul. Something doesn't look right, right, with Fernando Tatis Jr. right now. His body language isn't good. He's not excited. He's not happy. Um, just something isn't right. I guess in the meantime, guys, I will show you how pathetic my lineup was with Sorare MLB, and then we will continue on to the show. We're going to accept some callers. So, by the way, while we do our Sorare ad read, we'll have people in the Discord. I know ADHD wants to share his take. So I'm going to ADHD. Let's, let's chat in the Discord here in a little bit. Before we do that, guys, I want to give a shout-out to our sponsor. That is Sorare MLB, guys. Sorare MLB is an amazing, amazing sponsor of the Hogwatch, right? They are a free-to-play MLB fantasy baseball game with officially licensed gears, digital cards featuring players across all 30 teams. The link is in the description and in the top of the chat. Unlike other fantasy baseball platforms, you can Sorare managers truly own their fantasy experience because they're scouting, buying, selling, and competing with players at the highest level. You can own Juan Soto giveaways, jerseys, balls, and all of that fun stuff. Take a look at my Sorare lineups for week 35, guys. Go ahead and join Hogs exclusive, all right? Exclusive Sorare League. We'd love for you guys to come join in. It is great. It is free to play, and we want all of you guys to come chime in and discuss. So that is Sorare MLB, our good friends over there. Again, link is in the description, also pinned on top of the chat. We're getting close to 100 members in Hogwatch's exclusive league. Go ahead and join our good friends at Sora MLB ADHD. I, this one just hurts because they sweep the Rangers. You feel as if there's a little bit of hope. But ADHD, what, what do they do? I mean, can, can we start with Tatis? He looks depressed out there. Yeah, he's pressing clearly. But, like, I wouldn't be surprised if, like, you see an outburst from him, like, in the next coming days or something. Like, in the dugout. Like, did the Padres have no one to help these guys, like, mentally feel like? Like, when you struggle in baseball, and, like, and obviously this locker room's not, like, best friends with each other, you know? Like, like I don't think anyone's coming over to Tatis and, like, you know, 
saying like, hang in there, yada, yada. He's kind of just like alone in his head. Like, doesn't fucking help. People have to remember, dude, Tatis is still young too, bro. The kid's like 24 years old. Like, again, maybe it's just a slump, but whatever, bro. He's obviously pressing. I mean, we all saw he was way better earlier er, earlier in the year. So, like, you know, it's it's not something that will be long-term. Do, do, generally, it's a good question. Like, do, do the San Diego Potters have a sports psychologist? I think we've been asking this question for three years now. Um, and, and I'm not going to lie no to you. I've been watching quarter, hold on, hold on, hold on. I, I've, I've been watching quarterback on Netflix, and they, they, they feature Kirk Cousins a lot, talking to the sports psychologist. And, you know, Kirk mentioned how – it's tremendously helped him. And, and, and we talked about this, me, ADHD, and Jeff back in 2021 amidst that collapse. And Jeff continued to peg to the motion of how important a sports psychologist is in sports. It doesn't seem like the Potters have one. They have no energy. And Tatis looks like he's in his head again. Yeah, definitely. Listen, man, like pretty much every player other than Soto like did something tonight to cost them the game somehow. Uh, again, bro, like you could, dude, the team is not good. Okay. Like, if there was one game throughout the entire year that, that the players knew they had to win, it was tonight. It wasn't even, even against the Rangers. Like, I, like, I would have been happy with two out of three against the Rangers. But, like, so they, they sweep the Rangers. They know they're coming to Colorado, a place where there's not going to be any fans rooting them on. It's, you know, it's going to be colder. Ba- you know, Baron, really there's quick, not going to ba- be anyone Baron, in attendance. Baron, like, Baron said every Baron said every team has one. Um just like every team has a hitting coach, right? Just, I don't know. believe that. I, I believe every team has one. I I think that's bullshit. Like uh, I've never heard about us having like I've I've never seen one article what anything about us having a team psychologist. Guys, again the Padres lose uh Xander Bogarts was just trash. He he said it his he said it himself. He said he was incredibly trash tonight. Um, defensively he was a mess. Offensively he was a mess. Pretty ironic. The one time Bogarts did come through, uh, Matt Williams felt like waving Juan Soto for no reason except no reason. Um, Seth Lugo well, quietly was fantastic. What were you gonna say? Well, again, dude, people like us also have to. Understand, bro. Like this Rockies team is a double A team right now. They're awful. Like, like Blackman and Bryant are hurt, and they fucking traded everyone else away. They don't have anyone on the team other other than man. There's no excuse for the Padres who just like swept the Rangers. Like, dude, the Padres can't get up for these games. Like for whatever reason, like they they can't get up for these just random shit games against horrible pitchers. And it and, doesn't like, make sense. Against, and, 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 like. And, and, and it does and, and by the way, guys, the Padres, they don't have a starter tomorrow. They don't have a starter. Yeah, I don't know what they're gonna do. Like, I don't even know if they can bring Weathers back up. I don't even know if he has options left. Like, I think he you you can only bring a player up five times a year and send and send them back down. So I don't know. I don't know. It might be Wolf. I mean again, like they had to win tonight. Dude, tonight was the most important game all year because it would have been four in a row. You get over that hump, and and then if they won four in a row, then oh, you know, maybe man. they can go on a run. I'm so fucking mad, bro. But then again, like, they, then again, then again, like, then again they win are, these man. next two. They win these next two, and you're right back in it. I mean, like uh, I'm not like never not in it. I guess like uh, I watch every game, obviously, but like uh, still. Like, I just, I, dude, the team's not a playoff team, man. And, like, I, I'm not just, like, saying that. Like, they just aren't. If, it if doesn't feel like up it. For, like, teams, like, that are under 500 to, like, just beat them and, like, beat them good. Like, what makes you think that, like, they're just going to randomly stomp, like, everyone else on their schedule? Like, I know, I, I know they play better against teams that are over 500. But still, like, dude, if they get behind, like, like two to nothing on Friday against the Dodgers, like, does anyone have any hope that, like, they're going to come back and win that game? Like, dude, the, the team is just not good, bro. And, like, they have people slumping right now. Like, Bogarts has been, you know, like, bad all year. Maybe he's hurt. Like, Tatis is obviously struggling. 
Dude, I don't even know what to say, man. The team is just not good. Over 500. And again, like, AJ hasn't done anything yet. So, like, I don't know what's, you know, Fri- going to happen. Faithful, what do you think they do tomorrow? You know, they're 52 and 55. AH, I don't know if you're going to be awake. I'm streaming all day tomorrow, 9 a.m. Uh, on the hog watch. We'll have callers. Uh, I'll be streaming all day tomorrow. I'm not going to lie to you. Let's be real. I think vibes would have been pretty high for the stream tomorrow if they won this game. Vibes would have been pretty, pretty high. Well, uh, vibes would have been out of this world. Like, I mean, you're four games out of the wild card. Like that, you're 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 legitimately in, guys. And you vibes, also and no, you, not it's not it's not just four it's in not, a row. It, it, for me, it wasn't really the difference of four versus five games back. For me, it was the difference of kind of popping that cherry, getting your first extra innings win, having your longest win streak of the year, like all yep. tomorrow. Guys, the yep. Padres had a chance to pop their extra innings cherry and have their longest win streak of the year for the, before the trade deadline tomorrow. Oh, what a missed opportunity. What yeah. a missed opportunity tonight, and man. and like and like pretty much any trade other than you know shit that would have you know cost us like our top five prospects like almost any trade would have felt better too because like if they won four in a row like you know like they were trending in the high direction they had been trending all year I mean, like pretty much anything uh, uh, up to a point obviously um, AJ would have done. You know, other than you know, trading like our, our top five prospects almost would have been justified because again, like the team showing signs that they haven't shown all year. You know, but again, now we're we're right back to where we were. You know, against the Phillies, so to, uh, against the Pirates, like, and bro, the team's just not good, man. Like, and 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 all these teams that are losing ahead of them to like keep them where they are. Are not going to keep losing for the rest of the year. How brutal! Like, they're just not going to happen. How brutal was that Machado drop? Oh, oh on that it's tag. It with the um, Bogarts air, the Machado drop, the, the Tatis over five. Fucking the Soto wasn't clutch. Also, you like, guys want to see I'm, something? You guys want to see something really that's maybe quite alarming? What if I were to tell you that Hassan Kim would be second in the Padres in OPS this year? Yeah, he probably just passed Tatis. Huh? He did. He did. He did. Doesn't surprise me, dude. The guy's a very good hitter now. And yeah, but this that's is also not a bad an, thing. That's also a bad thing. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's a bit, yeah. I mean, it's both, obviously. But yeah, yeah, it's definitely a bad thing. Like, Tatis obviously should be way up there. Manny should be way up there. But I mean, Hassan Kim has turned himself into an all star. He's a. This, and this isn't just like a good stretch. Like, Hassan Kim has been good for three months. Two months. Uh, 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 anyways, guys. Um, yeah, it's been a miserable, 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 miserable day. I, I tweeted that. Um, it's been a miserable year. Like that's people so need miserable. to understand that. Guys, I haven't had like more than like four or five straight days where I'm just like, let's go. I'm on cloud nine. Do you remember when we traded for Soto that same day we walked off against the Rockies and swept him in the doubleheader? Like, that was literally a year ago now. Um, I guess we'll see tomorrow. Bro, and then. And- and then, and, and, and then, like, losses like this, too, like, they just destroy the players. Like, every single one of them, like, they know they had to win. So, like, it just destroys them mentally. And, like, again, I just think, I don't know, man. The, the team's just not good. We have no fifth starter right now. Walk is hurt, you know, like. He's been hurt don't for do a any, while. Just, AJ, don't do anything fucking crazy and destroy this team for next year. Because we, we have no depth already. Like, please don't make it insane trade like please guys we'll see you tomorrow again 9 a.m all right 9 a.m trade deadline special we'll be streaming all day at till about 4 p.m pacific time seven hour live stream all right seven hour live stream it's going to be a big one tomorrow i put the link in the chat it's pinned on top of the chat we will pin it once again on top of the chat guys Please, 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 hopefully ADHD will be in here to chime in on his thoughts tomorrow. Full trade deadline stream, live Twitter feeds from Passon, Heyman, Rosenthal, Morosi, live Twitter feeds. What are the biggest moves? Does Snell go? Does Verlander go? Does Bednar go? And much, much more. There should be a flurry of trades tomorrow. Guys, I'm sorry the stream had to go like this. I need to get some sleep. I got to actually prepare all the graphics for my stream tomorrow. We will see you tomorrow. We all staying up for the soccer game? Nah, bro. I got to wake up early. But I know Glick's probably hammering. 
the U.S. ladies. Good night, everybody. Cheers. Sleep well. Be well. And try and dream well, even though the Padres don't make it easy. Peace. Fuck Megan Rapinoe.